What is up, everybody? So, today I'm going to be doing a review on this Scuff Gaming Controller. If you could read this. Um, first off, I'm going to start with the packaging. The little box right here comes inside this little sleeve, which is very nice, kind of pain in the ass. Then you get your little instructions on how to tighten the, um, the trigger stops, which I'll show you in a minute. Using this little tool they send you right here. It's a little, uh, like an Allen wrench or something. Or as they call it, a scuff key. This is just some packaging. But right here, you can tell it's a really snug fit. When you order it, there's really no chance your controller is going to get damaged unless they, like, fucking run it over with the truck or something. Or have a sumo wrestler sit on it. So, the packaging is great. Um, they took a little bit longer for mine, and they sent me a little extra, a little something extra in the, the box, but right here is the case. Oh, by the way, the extra thing they sent me is a free charge and play kit. I don't know why I didn't say that, but here's the case. Um, it doesn't close all the way right now because I like to use, uh, FPS freaks just because I'm, I'm used to it, but if you take this off, it's a like a PlayStation 3 style stick. There you go, it's not a concave, I think is the word. And then I put this little, I don't remember what that thing's called, but it's just for grip, because I don't like when the, um, the, uh, yeah, let me turn this off. I don't like when this little, these little four bumps start to fade away on the controller, because it kind of makes it a little bit more slippery. So I, I put that on uh, the little blue frog thing on there. I'm going to crouch down. Um, but what I really like about this controller is everything, to be honest with you. I, I'm not, obviously not uh, sponsored by Scuff, but I can't do that sitting down. Can't get enough good enough view. But I really like the paint, if you can see. It's a... Um, like a matte finish. It's really smooth and not like polished or anything, which I like, so it's not slippery. And um, everything just seems to be really good. I like the buttons, the orange little uh, plastic over it. Unless that's just clear plastic. No, that's orange plastic with the white buttons under. And then the orange buttons, start and select buttons. The one thing I don't like th is the the home button being orange, not a big fan of that, and everything else is orange and black, but these are the trigger stops right here, and those little circles right there, if you can see, you put the little Allen wrench in there, and you can tighten these, these things up, and I've tightened them how I like them, so it's pretty nice, it allows you f to fire uh, a little bit faster, not too fast, not like a, a rapid fire mod, but then that you have these little, uh, little uh, paddles I guess is what they're called and then you can see like right here A and B A is on the left B is on the right so naturally the the left paddle is gonna be A right paddle is gonna be B and they're just really nice uh, I, I, I like this controller a lot for Gears of War and Call of Duty it's alright it uh, helps you with the ability to knife like in uh, closed area so you don't have to like reach over and press B and not be able to aim in a, in a specific dir direction but um, yeah those are those are really nice I find myself jumping around a lot of corners now in Call of Duty because I can it's just because I can it's it's a nice paint job though um, I'm gonna have to go into the light so you guys can see I'm not getting enough good light here Okay, so, uh, it's not going to focus. Yeah, it's just like a, a matte, it's like almost like a pinkish orange. It's it's really nice, so, uh, I, I really like that. Another thing I really like is this scuff grip. You can tell it's kind of, like, textured. It's like a plasticky paint, like a, I don't know if that exists, exists, but, um, sorry, I can't talk. It's, it's really nice feeling, but there's one big big uh, con to this controller and um, 
I mean, it's not huge, but the paint, especially this this plasticky stuff on the back, it stinks, and you have to wash your hands extremely good or extremely, yeah, extremely good afterwards. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's great. I, I like it a lot better than my regular controllers. And sorry for this little tree right here. My girlfriend set that up. It's for her her job but let me grab something I have multiple controllers all of them with something custom done to them I will not do anything custom to this con this uh, controller I have I wanted to change the LED lights to orange just because it's an orange controller but Let's see. I don't know. I have four controllers. I mean, they all have something I've done to them except for the two bottom ones. That's a new one. This one has blue, blue, uh, whatever these joysticks. This one's kind of jacked up from having an FPS freak on it. Oh, it has no batteries on it. No. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Yeah, I bought the FPS free or not the FPS freaks, but well, I guess I can tell you why I bought those. But as you can see, I changed all the the lights on this to okay. This one up here is going to be blue, yellow, red, green, like the buttons, as you can see. Just thought that'd be kind of cool, so I did that. Let's take this baby. This kind of turned into a scuff review, plus uh, a little bit of my controllers, what I like to do with them. But I'll compare the scuff to the uh, the other one in a second. This one just has blue and white, or blue and silver, whatever. But the the main differences on this. Uh, obviously the buttons are different. Let me put them like this. The buttons are different. The home button's different. This thing, you can obviously tell, is a little bit bigger than this. This is bigger than that. This is a, a flat paint, which isn't, like, as slippery as that. Then the main difference of the controllers is just the back. But overall, I'm going to tell you, stuff controller... The, the worst thing for me is the smell of the uh, the rubber, like the, the scuff grip or whatever you want to call it. That is the main turn off for me. But overall, I would, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it's, it's definitely, compared to a regular controller, um, 10 out of 10. I'd, I would definitely buy another one. And uh, if you have extra, a couple... Not a couple extra, but if you have uh, some extra money that you'd like to buy a, a great controller with, I would definitely recommend this. And, yeah, go out and buy one. Um, find someone's code on YouTube and get an, an extra 5% off, which will at least pay for your shipping. So, yeah, that's what I did. I uh, found code, got, I think, $10 off of it. I paid, I'll just tell you, over $100 for the controller. I'm not going to tell you the exact price. But it, it was well worth it. I use this controller mainly for shooters and this controller for every other game I play. So this, well worth it if you play Call of Duty or Gears of War or Halo much. Yeah. So, great controller. That's my opinion. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Okay. Goodbye.